Hey, Healing Vibe crew. Hey, babies. This is your girl, Nisa Mogul of Mystique Moguls. We are going to get into a collective love reading tonight, you all. I am really excited about this collective love reading. It's been pulling and pulling and tugging at my spirit for some time now. So I'm so happy that I'm able to create this message for you all. Let's get to this energy going, okay? Let's go ahead and get some more fire here. Okay, don't play me. Don't play me. <laughs> so to start um, with the energy here for the collective, there could definitely be a, a love that is looking to either reconnect, rekindle, some flames that's needing to be ignited, okay? And, you know, I do feel like there is effort and energy and um, a need to give some type of some type of love here, okay? So, yeah. This is the collective love read for January. We're going to see how it goes, okay? Let me know what you think. Thumbs up. Love it up. Love it up. Subscribe it up, okay? Let's get into the reading. This is the collective love. All right, divine spirit. I welcome you into this reading. I guess the collective need to know most in love. I've already pre-shuffled, so let's get into it, okay? Thank you so much, Divine Spirit. What does the collective, what insights can we give the collective for love for this month, okay? Let's see. All right, let's go with this. All right, so... We have religious factors. We have release your ex and very soon. So there could definitely be a collective or individuals within the collective that's looking to rekindle, looking to reconnect, re looking to see how well um, differences um, between a lover could be contained or how could be healed, could be um, like a bargaining, a compromise of a sort is what I'm getting for, um, love in the collective. So if you are part of this collective, you're looking to see how a relationship that may have turned cold, separate, um, changed, how it can come together. How could these differences with these religious factors, um, influence a balance a break i feel like someone needs a break in the collective okay and very soon it's, it's, it's going to be some type of decision here to help heal to help bring some type of peace we have the release of your ex here to me the energy is just trying to get into a space where there's compromise where there's uh, communication where there's an understanding where a division is ceased you know i'm see i'm really feeling that here um, because of the matters, uh, the difference of opinions, of outlook, of places where the collective's going, okay? Unrequited love also here. There's not an enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going, all right? So I definitely feel like there's just a moment where the collective is really just figuring out exactly what's best for themselves, what, what uh, their future, you know, certain contracts, development, things for their journey, for their um, their health, their betterment, you know, trying to realize like, how can we um, get this unrequited, this love into unison here, you know, and this disconnection is creating a unrequited love for the collective here, all right? Let's see some advice here. What can we give to the collective when it comes to what's to come for love? Getting to know each other. So, yeah, I definitely feel like there's going to be a way to kind of compromise, to communicate, to get to know each other, to understand the differences. I feel like there's a lot of wrinkles that just needs to be ironed out here. So there's going to be some communication, especially regarding these differences, these religious factors, these outlets, perspectives um, that's creating um, a low vibrational um, 
place of sadness, of disagreements, of disconnection, of just more turmoil that's needed and also division. Let's not forget the division that's also lacking here. So yes, the spirit is testing, let go of control issues came out. So there's a need for the collectors to let go of co control issues. I really do feel this month, okay, um, we're being called to like let go of the things that keep us, that's hindering us, that's keeping us hindered, that's keeping us stuck, that's keeping us um, unable to attain or reach goals, personal, spiritual, physical, um, dreams, um, things that's going to not, um, that's in, in like things that keep us um, in cer certain cycles and in keeping us um, in a state of, of habit that is keeping us, yeah, stagnant, stuck. <laughs> like this is the time that karmic cycles, I feel like karmic cycles, things that um, we have issues with letting go of is the time, like things that the same patterns, the same loops. It's like, it's time for you to either, you know, get out of that or spirit, when it comes to love, is going to keep you in the same dynamics, the same situations. Like you're not going to get any growth from that because there's you're being called to see yourself or love from a different angle. And the perspective that you defined and you're, that you got comfortable in, it's like, okay, it's not where you're meant to be. A lot of people in love and in life got comfortable in places they weren't meant to to be in and to stay in, okay? And Spirit is trying to get you somewhere else. Any other messages in love? Chemistry and heart-to-heart -heart conversation. So I love this. So Spirit is telling you that it's safe for you to love. Some of you may not even feel like it's safe for you to love. Here goes the reconciliation that we were speaking of for most some of the collectives. So this is very clear for some collectives that's really trying to work on their relationship, getting to know each other, having to recognize that, the, that whatever is bringing y'all apart, there's also a way that you can mend them together. You can mend this chemistry together. That is safe for you to love. So it's fear that's keeping the collective from embracing a new formation of, of growth, a new formation of existence. You know, you are wanting, collective is wanting to not break out, break out. Um, this month is about breaking out of your, your castle, breaking out of your comforts, breaking out of, you know, the ways of thinking here that potentially keep you away from finding the person that's for you or finding your tribe or finding those that are meant to have, um, you're meant to have in your life. And, you know, I feel like with this energy of release here, I, I really truly feel this person matters, but the differences and possibly ego or just standing your ground and not allowing yourself to be received in love are potentially understood and also re in return provide that same assurance is causing issues or lack of communication and more division instead of unison in this relationship in this in this in this place and i truly feel a reconciliation is wanted here let your friends help you in separation so yeah there's also some that are in separation you know, and, and, and also there are some that are recognizing that, hey, you know, we do have enough love, uh, true love in this situation to conquer this, okay? That we're able to get through this with the love that we're able to, to provide, okay? So I feel like if you are in that situation, that reading seems to be more so for those that are on all levels. I'm getting if you are single to make sure that, when you are connected with someone that you recognize and learn and be with someone that you could recognize and appreciate their differences, recognize how their differences can contribute to your, your differences and how these differences can create, you know, the, the bread and butter, the, the brick and the mortar, you know, the things that's going to make, um, 
things hold, that foundation to be sturdy and strong and residual, okay? And legendary and something that can last the, the test of time. I feel like so many are wanting things to be easy, but no one said it's going to be easy and it's not going to be easy. It's going to take work, diligence, and also perseverance and openness, vulnerability, and everything to be able to make things happen. The most things that you want the most is the things that you have to work the hardest for, the most consistent in, and, you know, just making it happen. Because at the end of the day, it's like it requires work, okay? Let's look at these cards. What does spirit needs us to know? We have connection here and we have enlightenment. So for the collective, what I'm getting is our relationships. Our relationships, the connections that we have is meant to give us this wisdom, give us this information that we're supposed to um, utilize to grow, to enhance our knowledge, to um, enhance our partnership skills, our relationship skills, our connections with ourselves, with other people. And to recognize that this is just a piece of the puzzle here. This is just a piece of the puzzle, okay? Or things that you're looking to receive. So just understand that this is a part of the journey, you know, and that those differences is what makes makes the whole blueprint that makes the plan. Like we can't have, you know, everything looking the same. Like how would we know like what the next step is? Like the differences is also something that makes um that makes everything work. Like, how would we have anything if we're not um, collabing with other um, essential tools and, and things to get things done? A cocktail. You have to have different elements to be able to enjoy the, the cuisines, just everything. You know, season it. <laughs> you know, seasoning. Everything has its place and contribution. The differences can work. If we know how to make it work and put the energy and effort into realizing how we are able to make the differences in these predicaments, especially if you are in your truly vulnerability, knows this is the place that you're safe, you're loved, okay? These connections are going to be bringing us wisdom here for the collective. Let's see. Synchronicity. Listen, spirit is wanting us to have more synchronicity in our relationships. So if you are in relationships or partnerships where the it's not balanced or if you feel like, you know, the energy is, is, is taking more than it's giving, it's not balanced, it's just not right, it just doesn't fit, spirit doesn't want things to be forced, relationships are going to be sync, like in balance and synchronicity, it's going to work together, it's going to be like give and take, it's going to be balanced, it's going to be um, something that... Um, you know, it's just doesn't need to be said, understood. It just is what it is. Okay. But it takes diligence because when you think of the B, you know, you see the diligence in the B for the collective, for the goal, for the colony, for the community, you know? So it's definitely going to take work to build this connection, to have this web um, of things to be, and it's going to bring wisdom as well. Thank you, Spirit. What other messages do we have for deeply? See, look at this. Look deeply within yourself, your soul to look deeply within to discover your soul purpose in your relationships. Okay. Come through, come through. So definitely make sure that relationships are intentional. I feel like it's a need for relationships to become more intentional uh, when it comes to your relationships, the connections that we have, you know, and not hoard people, not hoard things, not hoard um, connections because some things just run its course, okay? Some things just come and some things just go. Any other, any final last messages before we go? Thank you, Spirit. Oop. <laughs> All right, let's see. <clears throat> all right, this one says obstacles. All right, and it, I did see it in the reverse, but it's saying all of these things I'm feeling is spirit of being able to equip us to overcome obstacles, to get through things, is being able to understand things, build wisdom, see the larger picture, and not take things personally, just being able to receive, being able to to connect, be able to bring some type of balance and work and energy into making things happen okay 
So that's the energy overall message for the collective when it comes to love. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to see what we can do to get messages for advice, I should say, for the singles collective, advice for single collectives, and then we can look into the advice for collectives in the relationships, okay? So let's get that going, Divine Spirit. What messages do we have for the collectives that are single? What is to come for the single collective? Let's see. Divine Spirit, thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Let's go ahead and look into the energy of the singles. Okay. Okay. I definitely see the singles coming in strong here with the four of wands energy. So I really see you in a place of harmonizing, balance, you know, having vision, having diligence, organizing, um, putting in the work, the soul work, the physical work, the mental work, the root work. To get the destiny and the balance and the energy and the connection that you are looking to to um to receive. I feel like a lot of singles are enjoying the single life, getting themselves put together, you know, building the um themselves to be able to attract and receive the person that truly compliments them and, and patient. Because it takes us a large amount of patience here to be able to to work on yourself, okay, and to be patient for the right one. The next here is the world card. Okay, single collective, we see you. We see you. You're you're getting things done. And I see that you're getting closer to to love. And I feel also some of are even content. Some of the collective um is even content with just being to themselves. Being to themselves. So I feel like things are gonna be happening unexpectedly, really quickly for you and in divine mat timing. Okay, divine timing. And I feel like a lot of the collective is peace with that. They're peace with that. They're peace with their situation. They're peace with their mental. They're working on themselves. They're getting themselves together, okay? And they're just re allowing that door to open when it's time for that door to, to open, okay? All right, see, look. Yeah, exactly. So the collective with the six of uh, swords in the reverse, it's like you went through that journey of struggling potentially with another person, of being let down by another person, a person show, coming up short or wearing masks, not even per, being exactly who it is that they, you know, said that they were, like they were something completely different. The tower cards at the bottom of the deck. So yeah, and you had to walk away from something. A lot of single collectives have to walk away from something. So that's why you are really just taking the time to work on yourself and getting your, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling for the collective, very focused on self-development. I'm feeling um, and seeing a lot of fitness, you know, eating better, working on better. I really like, like working on getting better. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Working on better. Yeah. You're working towards it. Okay, you're working towards it. And I love that energy for you. What advice do we have for the single collective? So Spirit just wants you to continue to be yourself. Don't rush. Don't don't rush. Continue to work. Continue to work on what it is that makes you content, makes you feel happy when you're ready. I really truly feel a lot of collectives is really not ready to really get into that place. And but I do feel that um you're really working on that groundedness and that foundation because with this hangman here it's like you're really your, your foundation and getting yourself together and making sure you're straight and making sure your foundation is good and um and everything is righteous because i really feel like in the past you could have really just had to you know see things for what it is you, you're more patient and you're not putting yourself in a predicament or place where you know you have to start all over again for the collectives. So that's what I'm getting. Let's see here. Single collectives. Yeah. You see? Page of Swords energy with the Seven of Cups. So I really feel like in the past, like I mentioned, it's it's kind of giving the same energy. Really just focusing on yourself, really cutting out the bullshit, and really just staying devoted to what it is that you are, um, are looking to battle against. So I do feel like for collectives, there are gonna be um 
love coming to you soon. Someone that's actually able to help you balance and build, you know, this foundation and contribute to the foundation. I feel in the past, a lot of people cut out away or took away and held you back from what's for you. But I feel like I mentioned that the collectives is being patient for the ones that's for them, the collective singles. So I'm loving this for you because you, it's like you're out with the old and you're in with the new energy. And I love that. That's so beautiful. Patience is definitely a motherfucking virtue. Letting shit go that don't, that no longer fucking serves you. And you know, you just saying peace to it and just doing what it is that you need to do for yourself, your peace, your energy, your foundation, children, or, you know, goals, future, you know, I feel like is the best thing that you could do. And I see a lot of peace coming to a lot of people. I really, truly do. It just feels so good. I feel like a lot of wisdom has been had. I feel like a lot, a lot of people are beginning to mature and finding that peace and realizing that peace is the most truthful and the most valuable item in the world. Like, and is your mental peace, is your peace. A lot of people are, are really, really, really working on that. All right, so let's look at the collective in a relationship. What's going on here, okay? What's going on with the collective in relationship? What's going on? Collective in relation. Collective in relationship. What advice? Very divine. What do we have? <laughs> Welcome in, you guys. If you guys are still hanging out with me please go ahead and like subscribe love comment love up the video you know okay so we have the four of pinnacles that peeped out and just slid on through here for the collective in relationships the four of pentacles came out so what's going on here what, what why did this come up here <clears throat> we have the six of cups Okay, so I feel like a lot of people in relationships are holding on to relationships. Honestly, because of the connection um, and the the energy, and I feel the emotional investment. So there could be something going on emotionally with the relationships, collective relationships. What advice do we have with the collective? What's going on here with these collectives holding on? The justice card came up. Okay, so what's this justice about emotional involvement here with the relationships okay so y'all had a lot of shit going on collectives we got the seven of cups and we also got the five of um pentacles here so there could have been an issue that financially i'm feeling financially there could have been an issue with the collectives right in relationships and there could have been some struggling going on there could have been a struggle coming on financially and decision making and, you know, there could have been an issue with finances, but the justice card is here. Why, what's going on with the job? Why is the justice here? What advice do we have relating to the? Okay, see? The six of pentacles in the reverse. And then we also have the uh, six of wands. So, mm -mm -mm. so, the collectives, okay? Let's have a conversation, collectives. <laughs> so what I'm getting for the collective um, relationship read here is that finances could be an issue in the love lives, okay, of the ones in the relationship. I feel like a lot of you are really working hard trying to find, you know, the strength to come up with, you know, investing into, you know, Investing into things to in like your stability, working really hard, trying to figure out a way to, you know, reconnect the emotions and bring some more joy into this relationship. I feel a lot of you have been potentially worn down financially, you know, and, and have gone through a lot of struggles. Okay. And a lot of things have come up. So as far as how you placed your finances and a lot of and people in relationship may not have balanced their finances finances properly or put the time into you know energy into building the relationship and i feel like the justice card is here for the couples when it comes to the collective that are in this relationship what's the, what's going on here what advice is this because this is a lot what's happening divine spirit 
the Knight of Pentacles is here. So Spirit wants y'all to get active on making things move, working together. So potentially these couples are not working together. When it comes to finances, when it comes to goals, when it comes to working together, you guys could be doing different things here and someone could be feeling left out as far as balancing things with finances and one person could be doing one thing, one person doing another here. But also I'm seeing this six of, of wands with the justice card. It's like... Somebody's making moves and doing things and possibly not considering how their decisions and squandering is impacting the relationships or the um, connection here. Oh, Lord. Not the T, y'all. Not the T. See, the full card here. Somebody, Somebody's being a fool. Or wanting another person to be in full and not really connecting here. This is very more so, uh, very, very clearly, um, you know, not all, okay? This is very specific for somebody else that's in a relationship here. But the world card is here, okay? So, with the um, four of wands and the ace of cups, it's like there's going to have to be a change. But this change is going to have to come with some conversations and some hard work. And I feel like, when, like I said, when it comes to work, somebody is not listening. Somebody could be holding on, trying to communicate, letting them know that how they are making the decision that they're making, especially financially, how it's impacting, you know, certain things into the home. Someone's not listening. Someone could be trying to make things work. And I feel like there's a disconnection, honestly, when it comes to... Um, the collectives y'all i'm not even gonna lie that's a lot of motherfucking energy a lot of stuff that just shows a lot of fights so maybe the collectives and the relationships right now that is resonating with this or that's in some type of situationship or partnership there needs to be some type of communication when it comes to finances okay so if this is you know someone if this is the collective that's listening to this if this is for you make sure that you're being mindful of your finances make sure that you are communicating your finances and make sure if your partner is talking to you about finances that you're listening if you care make sure you're listening so that way the person could feel understood the first thing can feel as if they're being heard okay in this relationship okay so let's go ahead you guys and look into the partner that is spending this money that is not listening to this partner what is it that that they want to let their person know because it feels like there's not enough conversation in this relationship at the current moment because they could be dealing with something so we want to know in this relationship what is it that what's going on here we want to know y'all we're going to look into this for the collective because you know the 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 singles was all cute or whatever but then we got with the couples that got a little messy so we're about to look into this for the collective in relationship what's going on what, what's going on divine spirit let's get some uh, messages from the person that is detached or mm, not working with their partner what is it that you want your person to know at this time what is it that you want your person to know at this time they are beginning to feel neglected and they are tired of the disagreements and we would like to know we would like to know what is it that you would like to share all right thank you so much this is for soul tie is here i always feel connected to you so this could be a person that could be your soulmate. You guys could have been together for a while. Escape is here. I left when things got hard. So, yeah. So, things have gone hard. So, so ties. Here it is. Okay. So, yeah. Your person, you guys, although you guys are in love, although you guys have this connection, your person um, left when things got hard. So, they escaped. So, when you guys were having this issue with finances in your relationship and the person was not able to deal with it, they escaped into habits. Or, you know, irresponsibility, immaturity, immature habits. Um, they escaped into those because they, they left when they got hard. So the person that if this is connecting and resonating with, they were more potentially financially secure or responsible. And the person um, escaped and, you know, the soul tire connection 
and not able to face the responsibility or the turbulence that came into this relationship. What other message do we have? Divine for the collective in relationships divine. We have forgiveness. So it says I'm struggling to get over the past. Okay. So somebody's struggling to get over the past. Someone probably seeking or want forgiveness for this escapism or for the what they're doing to this relationship. But it says that they're struggling to get over something. So this person could have some type of um what is that? Some type of self-sabotaging or also they could go into substances or just, you know, no communicate or shut down when things get hard in this relationship. OK, it also has reminiscing that they missed the inside joke. So you guys must have potentially had a good conversations or, and things like that. But now the communication isn't the same and it is some type of mistakes that's here that they that. So there is some differences. You guys could even be at cha um you guys could potentially even be at distances right now, okay? Because it says that they wish that they could right these wrongs. And we also have Chaser that they don't want to change. So the person with the four of uh, Pentacles energy, um, if this just sounds like your partner, you don't want to chase no more, especially if they're a runner. And your person could be a runner looking to escape. And another person is just tired of chasing, okay? Any other messages for the collective? All right, we have damage, so we are both hurting from this, okay? And there's some type of soul contract here. And I do feel like somebody is trying to mend things, okay? But there is lack of communication, there is secrets, and then look, responsibilities is here. And somebody's feeling unworthy and guilty. Ooh, Lord have mercy, okay? Let's see, what advice do we have here? Ego, so a spirit just wants you to recognize your ego. Okay, yet you stop letting your pride get in the way of the connection. So somebody's pride is letting go of letting, yeah, somebody's ego is letting themselves and their pride get in the way of the connection here. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. There it is. Escape came out again. So yeah, your ego is causing this, their ego is causing them to escape this relationship. Okay. What, what message do we have so we can um, wrap this up, Divine Spirit? What message do we have for the collective? Let me pull this over here. In love. And then we're going to wrap this up. If you're still here, please go ahead and like it up, love it up, comment it up, subscribe it up, okay? I appreciate you. All right. <laughs> My hair. All right, so we have the seven of pinnacles, which is about being diligent, working, communication, you know, networking, making sure you guys are on it together, tending to your, your garden and your work, okay? So yeah, teamwork is needed here. Communication is needed here. And not being afraid to get dirty and working hard is going to take effort on both both parties, Okay. To be able to make this work. Any other last words here? The will of fortune. So if you work together, I am seeing that there is a possibility that you all are able to make it work. Once you guys communicate and whatever issues or disagreements or feelings that you have that's, you know, is made you feel, address those, fighting them out, talking it out, whatever the energy is. You know, just making sure that you don't hold back. Okay? Hold back. Don't hold back. Okay? Trying to make this happen, all right, you guys? So in closing, <laughs> I think I'm going to leave in that here, okay? We got the collective read. We did the singles, and we also did the ones in the relationship. And Lord knows, I was not expecting that. How about y'all, okay? See, it's always something, right? Always something. Okay, Spirit wants to do one more final thing here. To try to get some more peace and get some, other, some more peace, because that went somewhere completely different okay but it's it's okay it's to be expected all right so let's see divine message in closing for the collective let's see if we can leave on a lighter note <laughs> let's see if we can leave on a lighter, lighter note for the collective divine spirit what message do we have Ooh. excuse me all right So what we have here, okay, 
The first one says, wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course, okay? And then also, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you shared with those that you love. So that is beautiful. This is beautiful. And I feel like Spirit gave one for the singles and one for the collectives on this one. And I'm going to read it again for the single is wait, okay? To be patient, not to rush it. Allow nature to take its course, okay? Definitely. Look at that. It just came full circle, okay? And then we have, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and memories you share with your loved one. So I, I think that's like the perfect final message. Thank you, Spirit, because I agree. All right, you guys, if you're still here, like it up, love it up, comment it up, subscribe it up, and I'll see you next time. Peace.